Free weather with Tom Kiffin. And we've had a cold front slowly coming across Lake Superior tonight, and that has touched off some snow showers into areas around Marquette over towards Munising and back over towards the Keweenaw Peninsula. Local 3 radar network shows that snow moving into the Marquette area, and we'll close on in just a little bit closer here, and you can see the snow. Marquette up 550 towards Big Bay, and then westward along 41 towards Nagani Ishpeming and also Republic, and then we do have some snow back to the east of Marquette towards Munising, Rock River, over towards Shelter Bay, and also Deerton, and also Chatham, Rumley, and also Eben Junction seeing some snow. On the temperature side of things, temperatures not nose diving like they did the past couple of nights. We do have temperatures that are in the teens and 20s, still 27 degrees for downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard. Check these temperatures out this morning. 12 below zero, below zero, well below zero again for the interior west. We had six above zero for Sawyer, two for Iron Mountain, four for Escanaba, uh, temperatures a little bit milder or moderation in temperatures, let's call it, for the Keweenaw Peninsula, 13 at Houghton and 22 for Copper Harbor. Everybody, though, did make it into the 30s, including 30 for an official high temperature at the National Weather Service. And same for the downtown Parquet at the U.S. Coast Guard. Three above zero was the official low temperature. What's ahead? It will be turning colder for everyone, along with some lake effect snow showers. And then as we go into Saturday, we're going to see a little bit of a break from the snow showers, but then we're looking for some UP wide snow to move in here for Sunday. So temperatures tonight definitely dropping. They'll be falling into the teens. There's your lake effect snow on a north to northeast wind through tonight and also for the daytime on Friday. But on Friday, look at this temperatures not going far. They'll be steady in the teens. 20s though, south central UP tomorrow night. A few lake effect snow showers remain, but it gets cold below zero lows inland single digits to around 10 above near the Great Lakes. And then for Saturday, we get into a little bit of sunshine with temperatures in the 20s. Some lake effect snow could develop in the Schoolcraft County, western Mackinac County on Saturday afternoon. But the next storm system of note moves in for Sunday. And we'll talk about that right now. Big storm system actually going up the eastern seaboard here. Widespread snow across western New York into New England. That's out of here as we get into Saturday. But I want to point your attention to the left hand corner of your screen. You can see snow moving into North and South Dakota. That's what's moving in here as we go on the Sunday. Weather anytime going into the weekend, download our WGM and Local 3 app. Also online at upmatters.com and find us on Facebook. Extended forecast, Marquette, Marquette County. We're looking at temperatures in the teens for Friday, back into the 20s for Saturday. And then for the Eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures in the teens for Friday, and then we're jumping back into the 20s for Saturday. For the Escanaba area, a few snow showers with temperatures in the 20s for Friday and then a slight chance of snow, but it will be east of Rapid River for Saturday. Better chances of snow for Sunday, and that's going to be for everyone. For the interior west, temperatures stay in the teens for Friday with a few snow showers, clouds and some sunshine for Saturday with highs in the 20s, but it's going to be a very cold early Saturday morning. And then for the Keweenaw Peninsula, temperatures in the teens for Friday, very cold Friday night into Saturday morning, and then temperatures rebound a little bit for Saturday afternoon. Everybody sees snow on Sunday and then a little bit quieter for early next week. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at upmatters.com. Okay, Tom, thank you.